G'day guys, welcome to the uh, FMC tutorial for the Q400. Alright, so now I've got the FMCs on both sides here. Alright, and I have the uh, FMC just opened up so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so first off you want to accept the FMC, okay? Now you want to go, so I'm going to use an old flat plan, okay? Once you have accepted, you want to start putting in the fuel, okay? Now these things you'll have written down from your flight plan, either from uh, Simbrief or whatever carrier you're using. Um, so certain numbers need to be found, all right? Now I have plenty of live streams uh, and other things of where you can find these things and uh, where you can do certain things. All right, so zero fuel weight, for the, this particular flight that we used was uh, 25247, enter. Uh, you don't need to worry about the cargo and packs at all, okay? So we also need the alternate fuel, which was 446, enter. And then it goes on a hold, 663, enter. The extra fuel that you're gonna be using in your contingency plan 259 and then it will calculate the reserves so the fuel on board this aircraft at this particular time was 2696 now to make sure that that is exactly the same you go down and check the fuel um, gate uh, the fuel stats on the fuel page to make sure that it's correct it's not going to be correct because I haven't set the aircraft up but this is just the FMC tutorial okay so that is that now you can, if you want to go basic weight, um, if you really want to do random stuff, you can go here and you can select your packs, like oh, I'm taking 56 packs today, okay? Um, today I'm going to be taking, uh, I don't know, 560 tons of cargo, done. Uh, the fuel today I'm taking is 2696, done, okay? So you can do it though if you wish as well. Alright, so then uh, the zero fuel weight today would be uh, five, six, five, eight, two, I don't know. But if you do that, the this stuff disappears, okay? Um, basic weight. You could do this if you wanted to. Um, five, two, four, seven, okay, enter. Uh, 56 passengers, enter. Um, so that's... 56 at 85, so 85 meaning that's how heavy they would be, whatever, 586 kilos, done. Okay, that is not exactly how you do it because the zero fuel weight is obviously over overweight there. Okay, um, so you want to find a f bits and pieces, okay? Find out what your basic weight is, but that's how you do it, okay? So this particular aircraft is 29, so what we'll have to do is go here and uh, probably change this to maybe uh two three five six eight yeah done okay now we're underweight okay if you really wanted to you go two one five eight five uh no not that uh 56 yeah all right so there we dropped on up sorry about that annoying alarm oh my tv's turning on too ah, 5 a.m guys mute that Okay, so basically that's how you set that up, okay? Uh, and then this page will all set up when you do the flight plan. And no need to worry about that. Uh, those parts there. Okay, that's the fuel flow and used and not used and all that sort of stuff. And uh, a few other bits and pieces there. Okay, so that's how you set that page up. Now the flight plan, you can do it one of two ways. You can uh, manually set it up with your flight plan or if you have uh, Simbrief, <coughs> you can download it straight into the aircraft. Now I have quite a few flights here, <coughs> excuse me. Now the flight that I used was this one down here, number eight, okay? Um, so we put this one in and there you go, okay? So now this should be filtered out with all the stuff that we need and here. All right, so we are going to take off from this particular airport uh, from 3-3, I believe it was. So that's how you find the runway. Then we have to find out which way we're going. Now, budgie was the SID that we're leaving on. Hey, you got to find out your SID. You got to find out the runway for that SID. 
<coughs> which there is only one. You're making sure you click enter again. I do it twice just to make sure. Otherwise, it does not go into the thing. So that's all set in there, ready to go. Then you go to the arrival, and we are arriving on 1, 2, 19. I'll just pick one for the sheer sake of it. The star today, because we're coming from the north, was Ke uh, Kevin. Kevy. Uh, then we're going to pick one again. Okay. And then we're going to pick the ILS. Okay. Uh, I always use Z. And we come in on, on the transition of Glenn. <coughs> Double click or click and fly plan enter. Now you'll see that there is a few links there. Okay. So those links we get rid of. Okay. By deleting. What you want to do is make sure that you don't have double ops as well. There's always a double up like there. Let me get rid of that one. Making sure there's another no, no no more double ups. Get rid of that one. Okay. And there we go. These two links do not get rid of them. Therefore, you'll go around if need be. Okay. You'll need them. All right. So basically, that is it uh, for the FMC. All this perf page will start when you get up in the air and all that sort of stuff, the ETA, um, ETE, uh, the uh, GS, ground speed, tailwind, whatever you got behind you, all that sort of stuff, fuel on board, endurance, all that. Perf page you don't worry about in this particular aircraft, not that you can touch anything anyway. There is a few things that you can touch, but all this stuff is automatic, uh, thank God, whereas uh, the 737 is not, okay? Um, so that's that page. This is the tuning page that I was telling about that you can change particular things on the radio. All right, you can also go to menu um, on every different uh, thing. Okay, so this here is a really good thing. So if you're on the fuel and you're working in kilos and you don't know what kilos are, or you're working in kilos and you don't know what pounds are, I can click here and find out what 500 kilos is. All right, I'm gonna find out what 500 kilos is in pounds gallons, imperial gallons, and in liters. Very good uh, aspect right there if you really, really wish, okay? Now, by tank and by total, uh, so I always use by total, done, okay? Average packs weight by total, okay? Um, whatever this is, let's have a look, done. Okay, so that's by tank. Um, so the average weight of a human uh, we can also, like, I'm just going to Google this. Um, average weight of human, Google says, is 62 kilos. Um, an adult human is 137 pounds, 62 kilos, according to the table. Uh, so basically, if you really wanted to, you could uh, change that to 62 kilos, which is the average weight of a human being. Um, but for a normal, yeah, for a normal male, um, you're probably looking at 70, because um, you got to think about males and females. So done. So that's the average weight of a human. So that's going to change uh, your fuel page a little bit different. Okay. Um, so now you can now that's going to times 56 passengers by 70 uh, Which will give you your number blah 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 and yeah, so that's it there The flight plan has a few menus as well. So comprised um, You can have a look at different things there to put in your flight plan um, You can have clearances uh, Positions to waypoints all that sort of stuff Depart, delete flight plan. Uh, so you want to delete the flight plan before you start again. Store the flight plan if you did it manually and you want to save it and all that sort of stuff. So basic, basic stuff. Okay, so now we've been working on this one for quite some time. This one over here hasn't moved. So what we need to do is click accept. We want to make sure that the date of the aircraft is what it should be. 20th of March, 19, uh, which is today, the UTC time. Now that UTC time should match the UTC. Oh God, the yeah, I, I've zoomed out. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, it should match the clock that's on the aircraft. Okay, 
uh, and uh, then you got the uh, location. Um, this ID doesn't move. Okay, it stays there. Uh, and that's it. So you want to exfil? So exfil the flight plan. So it's taking the flight plan from there, putting it over here. Exfil the fuel. Same thing, taking it from there, putting it over here. Do not exfil over this side because you'll take from there and put it over here and you'll have to do it all over again. Do it on this side. Okay, so if you open that, as you can see, it's now a different flight plan. Okay, now it's a different thing. Go to the fuel, make sure that's all there. Done. Okay, go here, make sure it's all there. Done. Okay, now there's a few other things that you can do. There's a TCAS filter if you're using call signs. You got cabin uh, stuff to turn off the cabin. Uh, you can go here, turn that off, or you can go into the uh, control fig and turn all of these off. Okay, turn that off. Services, that is the request for the GPU outside, and this is the straight uh, pushback and all that sort of stuff if you want to use the pushback, unless you're using GSX. Uh, Unilink, uh, and a few different things there. That doesn't return for some reason. I have put in a bug for that. Uh, and then there's an exfil button here as well, if you need it. Okay, that don't work. None of these work until you have the Pro Edition. The next thing is the navigation. Now I have done this in my streams before, but I'll have a quick overview on that. A few different things there. Okay, so you got your approach here for runway one. Uh, you can select your heading for runway one, which we know is one zero. Um, 06 for the heading that's a heading select that's for the approach we have a message here no intercept okay it's not a big deal all right um, so that's your approach uh, into the airfield you click on that and you can set it all up for the airfield maneuver uh, this is for different things here so approaching uh, POVR OR VOR uh, and you also uh, so have your if you want to do holding and all that sort of stuff. Now you'll probably be doing it on yours, not on theirs, or whatever side the aircraft you like flying. Okay, now there's different things. So if I want to hold, say, at uh, um, this one here, smoking, or whatever the actual hold is, left or right, okay, you change this by using the R or the L. Uh, the time, if you want to sh find out how long you want to do the time, so one minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever, I just keep the distance, which is uh, 0.5, uh, 5.0 nautical miles, the ETA, um, until I get there and all that sort of stuff. So then, then we can click arm hold. Okay, so VNAV. Uh, to find out a VNAV for a particular flight, now we don't have it here. So for example, if I want to find a VNAV for Brisbane, okay, when you're up, it will go, so VNAV. Uh, go there, you click Anna, and then go here, you change your thing, and you click Anna, blah, 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 and then you change that, and it'll give you a top of descent. I have done those in the stream, so go and check that out and have a look. So, direct uh, to, so if I want to go direct to something, so like 8, okay, we'll go direct there, and it will, I can click intercept, and it will go straight to that location over any of the other locations, okay? Now, list, this is the list of all the airports and VORs and NDBs and intersections within your area, okay? And then this particular number is next and back for the pages. Apart from that, that is pretty much the FMC taken care of. And then you have over here, the off, cancel, dim and bright. Okay, so that dims it up and that brightens it up. Cancel or the off button, okay? Cancel, cancel, done. You can also cancel it by just going to there. Okay, thank you very much guys for watching and I hope that really really helps on your FMC for the uh, Q400. So thank you guys.